blushes you're shaking, so. Probably just stay home. No! This is the first critical rager of the year. That's compulsory. And you know what your doctor said? You need socialization. Why don't you use my tanning bed? Oh, no, I... When I won Junior Miss Hawaiian Tropic, I promised I'd use my title to help other people. And that includes sharing the grand prize with those in need. You're in need, babe. Sorry, you got electrocuted, Lisa. I'm fine. Let's wrap. How are you liking Brookview so far? It's fine. It's the same as my old school. Are you hot for anyone? Come on. Lisa. Lisa! Lisa, 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 Lisa. I don't know what that is. He's the editor in chief of the Graph Club, the Lit Mag, the high school literary magazine. Does he lunch on or off campus? Off. BK or White Castle? Neither. Does he have more of a basketball bod or a football bod? He doesn't play sports, he's cerebral. He's in a wheelchair? No. This party's going to be clutch. There's going to be two kegs, a wapatui, and Eric Chen stole a nitrous tank from his dad's dental practice. Isn't it just off Bluff Road? Uh-huh. We could have walked. Too far. I'm wearing jellies. These things will turn your feet into hamburger helper. But there's a shortcut through the forest through Bachelor's Grove. The haunted cemetery? It's not haunted. It's just abandoned. Desecrated. Well. I heard the Heshers do witchcraft over there. And I also heard that Gina Marzak dedicated her unborn child to Satan. And that's why the baby has to wear a helmet now. I've never seen anybody there. I think it's really peaceful and quiet. I do wax rubbings of all the tombstones. I have a favorite. <laughs> you have a favorite one? Yeah. A young man, I tend to his grave and leave him flowers and I talk to him sometimes. I brought this for you. It was my mom's. It's kind of morbid when I wear it, so I wanted you to have it. Keep you safe, okay? That's really weird, Lisa. I just don't think anyone should be forgotten. I brought the food. Yes, you did. You look great. Yeah. Hey, uh, you fixed your bangs. You know, I wasn't gonna say anything. They were such a mess, but you look amazing now. Well, I'm telling you, we're taking it to stage this year, man. And I'll put money on it. Possum pride, baby. Woo woo. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my God, Steve, bag your face. You're looking to fade out the ethanol's inside. What? The booze. It's in the house. Yeah, I think that my stepsister brought most of it. Lisa Swallow. Michael. Trent. <sighs> Why do you know my name? <laughs> well, we're both currently being educated in the same walls of asbestos. Plus, you submitted some really strong poems to the Grackle. I'm the editor. Oh, you are? Right. 
This stuff's really good. Like, pitch black, but really good. Reminds me of Plath or Ann Sexton. You like my poems? I wouldn't publish them if I didn't. <laughs>